It's all right, Tom. I see. I'm not going to steal your gum. Hey. Hey, where did you come from? Uh, no, don't be frightened. Um, I met a Pakeha yeah. once. He offered me some sweets or biscuits. I don't remember which. Is it Caroline? Go on, tell me, and you should love this biscuit. No, no. Um, hey, you've got a mark on your neck. Here, let me have a wee look. I found out later he told my family he'd found their missing child. But I knew nothing of this at the time. The Maoris told me never to speak to a Pakeha again. My father never gave up. But when they didn't find me that time, it became a bit too much for my mother. She went a bit porangi. Funny. Would have liked to have known my mother. Dead these many years now. <laughs> but no matter. I was a Maori. I belonged, you see. Oh, I knew I was paler than the others, but the thought that I could be a Pakeha never entered my head. <laughs> Not many brains in a day. <laughs> Though, you know, there were things. Well, the moko is dying out now, but in those days you weren't thought of beauty if you didn't have it. <laughs> Perhaps um, something inside me remembered that I wanted to be pretty all right. We were growing up. I was just as keen to have myself a husband as the others were. Ewa Naru was a good bit older than me. He'd been on the gum fields a long time. Oh, but he was a fine-looking man. Ah. <laughs> yes, he must have been a good 20 years older. I'd be about 15 at the time. It's a toa home. Ay, it's a kita atoa. Mau tene. We were married, and then my little girl was born. We were happy, but not for too long. Ewa got sick. Consumption. He died just two years afterwards. <sighs> A big, strong man like that just wasted away. But when did you first meet your present husband? The old feeling against me had gone long ago. And we had some happy times when I got stronger. And you know, 20 is a time to look forward and not back. A handsome man, all right. All the girls were chasing after him. It wasn't the same as with Ewa. Tall and straight and broad in the chest. Up from Poroporo on a visit. And not rough, you know, like some of the men on the fields. Uh, 
Oh, there was a big feast that night. <laughs> Not that we were thinking much about that. We were married. In the Maori way. Oh, yes. What a fellow. Oh, anyway, you don't want to be hearing about that, do you? <laughs> Ngongo was on a visit to relatives. And about three months later, I left the gum fields for good. I haven't seen friends of those days for... must be 40 years. But I don't forget. Why hot water? No, no, Tony, ten I want more than Mirakai in our car. You catching at the ticket, talking Maori at school. I was talking to Dad. I can't talk English. Not as well as Mum can. Didn't take me long to learn English. I'd work for Parkhouse now and again, and they were amazed how quickly I picked it up. But I never got the hang of reading and writing. I left that to my children. You will stop at school and learn. You don't want to be an ignorant old woman like me, do you? <laughs> the women I worked for, you know, asked me questions at first. I just told them that I'd always live with the Maoris and that is all I knew about it. The years started going faster and the children got married and had children of their own. I was a grandmother many times over when everything changed. Excuse me. Look, uh, it may seem rude, but uh, what are you doing with Maoris? My relations, friends. But you're a white woman. Where do you come from? I have to go to this. Please, it's very important. Long time ago, I came from Kaipara. The gum fields. She had a mark, a scar. She fell across the fire, you see. We all grew up with the story that the sister who was taken away. Oh, you and my mother could be twins. You've got a scar on your neck. I, I know you have. The Maoris took you away, don't you see? From Leperton, when you were a little girl. My grandfather never stopped looking for you. My mother is your sister Mary. You must remember Leperton. It's 50 years ago, I know, but, but all our lives we've been looking for you. Oh, just wait till my mother knows. My sister came up after. That's her picture. Yes, you are. Very alike. Even though your lives have been so different. She wanted me to go back and live with her, but... Well, her is better off here with her own family. Got nice houses, all right. Still, we got to pack our house now as well. But you know, I think I was happiest in the old Raupo Fori. But you must think about what could have been. Better the way it is. I've known a lot of hardship, but I've known a lot of love as well. And you know, it took a long time but I know where I belong now. Now that the mystery of your birth has been cleared up? No. I didn't mean that, Mr. Sheehan. 
See, it wasn't much of a story for all that fuss, was it? I'm sorry my memory is so bad, but so many things people want me to remember. Just when you write it down, say I'm a Maori. I think like they think and I live like they do. I got a husband, children, grandchildren, all Maori. Like I told you, I know where I belong.